not going to worry about my mental health issue or if I have an addiction issue, if I'm worried about where I'm going to sleep, what I'm going to eat, how am I going to pay my bills. So we eliminate all those things. Anybody that may have a social anxiety disorder, PTSD, group living situations really are not good for those individuals. And this kind of provides that, that shelter, that home for them. We're not allowing it to be cookie cutter. It's just not accurate to say that everybody needs mental health counseling or everybody needs financial management or everybody needs a job. Everybody's different. Our first meeting was with our city hall. We went to our mayor and city council and said, we want to kind of do this crazy thing and we're going to be dead in the water if we don't have your support. And our houses are actually built to any code that any new construction is built to. They're connected to city utilities, but on concrete foundations. We basically had to build a subdivision. I think way too long we viewed veterans and specifically homeless veterans as almost a federal government problem, right? Meaning that when you hear about veterans issues, you automatically link that to the federal government. Um, you know, they sleep in city streets and city parks and they're community individuals, you know, they're people that lived in a city and then served their country, then came back to that city. This is about a city kind of standing up and saying, we're not gonna wait for somebody else to fix this problem. We're gonna fix it ourselves. Mm -hmm.